Hey, welcome to Intro to AP Computer Science for New AP Teachers. The topic today is iteration, which is perhaps one of the most uh, important and also one of the most difficult topics for students. So in this uh, video, I want to go over what is iteration, I'll talk a little bit about for loops, string traversal, what I call the pattern, uh, enhanced for loops, while loops, and a quick uh, introductory exercise. Um, bit, talking a little bit about pseudocode in this case. So what is iteration? So this is basically repeating a code based on some sort of condition. So until your homework is done, you keep doing your homework, ideally. Um, a lot of this times this will involve traversing a collection. And we'll see that in this lesson in traversing a string. It is absolutely a key concept in multiple choice and uh, free response questions. If you cannot do iteration properly, you cannot do traversal properly, you're going to have some serious problems. So it's really important that students get on board with this particular topic. And again, this is, from my own experience, this is the hardest subject for beginners. It's harder than methods, it is harder than classes, it is harder than basically anything. I don't know why, it just it just seems to be very, very complicated. Now once you get it, you get it, but it is a very complex topic for beginners. So for loops, so basically, you know, you just want to go over the basic structure, you know, for i equals zero, you know, then you have your condition, I should probably should have written that in here, and then you have your increment. Um, so again, assuming you already know this, and then you know, do a little bit about counting up, counting down, looking at different types of ending conditions. And typically one of the things, you know, students really want to use all the times, they want to use greater than or equal to rather than greater than, or they want to use less than than equal to rather than less than. Um, typically I just show them, I really emphasize the pattern for i equals zero, i is less than you know, whatever that maximum number is. Usually it's a length because we're iterating through some sort of collection, could be a size or, you know, that sort of thing. But uh, I, I strongly recommend the students basically stick with that pattern and not, not give in to using a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Although they should be aware of it because some of the free res or some of the multiple choice questions will have that in them. And if they, if they don't pay careful attention to that, then they'll be off by one and they won't get the correct answer. So it's a little bit tricky there. Traversal, uh, string traversal in this case. Traversal means to go across. Okay, so we're starting at one end and we are going to the other end. Typically, we're starting at the beginning, so that would be index zero, and we're going to the end, which is the index length, or the length minus one is the final index. So it's important to go over that. Uh, you'll see here I have the expression starting with the zeroth letter and going to the end. So not the first letter, the zeroth letter. It's a little confusing because, of course, in our heads, we think the first letter is the first letter, but that's index zero. So this, I think, helps the students to get the idea, okay, it's zero. And then what's really important here is that you're looking at one letter at a time and doing something with it. So you could be checking to see, is, it, you know, is this a capital letter? Is this a lowercase letter? If you're counting something, you know, if you're filtering, uh, we only are counting how many vowels there are. Is it a vowel? We're going to check these types of things. So this, this is very much a standard pattern, and that's, which brings me to the pattern. <laughs> and um, this is just really just the most important pattern, APCSA. I hammer this starting with this unit, and I constantly bring it up over and over and over again. And I do explicitly teach this as a pattern. Um, so the steps are you're starting with a collection. Now in this particular case, the only collection type we know is a string. I know it's technically not a collection, but yeah, we can treat it as such. You iterate through it, that's your for loop. You pull one element out at a time. Now, so like, you know, a string is made up usually of characters or a letter, or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, character equals, you know, string dot substring i comma i plus one. And then we have the letter. Then, all, then we don't have to think about the iteration anymore. All we gotta do is say, well, if this is a vowel, we add one to our vowel count. If it's a consonant, we add one to our consonant count. But this pattern, if the students can get this down, it will go a real long way to just doing well on an AP exam. Uh, and also, once they get to the array unit, once they get to the array list unit, they already know how to do this. Then it's just really just 
you know, learn the new algorithms and different types of so types of things you got to do there. Uh, an enhanced for loop. Uh, this is not really uh, something I do here in the string unit, but I do mention it. Um, it's in my book as well. This is a special type of for loop. So in which you don't use indices, but you still in iterate through from start to finish. However, in the case of strings, you need to use the, the char or char data type. And since that's not on the AP, I don't really talk about it here too much, but it's something maybe you wanna, you wanna, you might wanna bring up depending on where you're at and you know, your personal teaching style. So for this reason, I, as I, you see here, I wait until the arrays unit uh, to introduce this topic, generally speaking. Uh, and then basically, I do all the, the for loop stuff. I just, all I talk about is for loops, all I talk about is for loops, all I talk about is for loops. We get the idea of iteration, we get the idea of traversal down, we do counting, you know, you can do some filtering, all, the, all these sorts of different things. Once they master that basic concept, then I go on to while loops. Uh, so then we just go through everything. Well, how would we do this with a while loop? You know, what are the structural differences? And the big, I think one of the big things they have to watch for, especially with regards to the multiple choice questions on the AP exam is, you know, where does that incrementer go? Because sometimes you'll see, you know, I++, plus plus, it comes before, let's say, a print statement, or sometimes it comes after a print statement. Uh, sometimes it comes before an if statement, a conditional. Sometimes it comes after. And that really, like, changes the output for those multiple choice questions. And they're looking, for, that's, they're trying to see if you understand, you know, what, how that affects the output of the program. So you really got to know that type of level of detail, but it's something definitely to emphasize. And for the uh, introductory exercise, basically what I do is have the students brainstorm a long list of things that they did that day. It could be that week, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then we categorize them into fun and not fun. So this, this is really more of a thought experiment than a, uh, a coding experiment uh, because we can't really do it until we get to uh, arrays. So then I introduced the idea of pseudocode, which is code that looks like code, but isn't it? It's really just explains how the code works. And you'll see an example on the next slide. And so then what we do is we calculate fun versus not fun. So for how fun that day is based on the number of activities that are fun versus the number of activities that are not fun. And then looking at it, so you can see activities, this would be our list of activities. And then I would go through, okay, here's our list. We start fun is zero, not fun is zero. And then for each activity, so this is, this is our loop, indentation is important. If the activity dot is fun equals equals true. So it looks a little bit like code that they're used to. Then we add one to fun. Otherwise, we add one to not fun. Okay. Again, this is not code that's meant to run. It's code that's meant to explain an algorithm. Um, later in the uh, arrays unit where we do uh, what selection sort and insertion sort, uh, I do give the students the actual pseudocode for those algorithms. Uh, and from that pseudocode, they have to actually write the code. So this is something that I do test. It's not in the AP. Pseudocode is not in the AP. But uh, I think it's important to, for the students to see that process and how everything breaks down. And especially, you, know, you see here the indentation is really useful in giving clues to how this would work. And then basically each student can say, well, my day was, you know, I had a, a 10 score of fun, and, but a 20 score of not fun, or whatever, whatever that particular thing was. Or you do it as a, as a class, a collective. It just gets the students talking and thinking uh, about uh, the process of doing that sort of thing. And then later, of course, you're going to turn that into code. Um, topics. So to review, talked about what iteration is and just how important that is for students to understand. Uh, for loops, string traversal, and the pattern. If, there, if nothing else, getting the students to understand this pattern, because uh, it, it comes up over and over and over again. Uh, again, enhanced for loops, I'd probably wait till the arrays unit just because we don't use the care type in AP, but that's up to you. And then, boom, redoing everything with a while loop. And finally, a little exercise to kind of get the students thinking about that process of, you know, looking at one item at a time. Okay, here's an activity. Okay, is it fun or not fun? Okay, tally it up. We come back around, look at the next activity. And it's, it, it's helpful if you, you know, walk through that, that pattern, that process, you know, step by step with the students. And I think that is it for this one. Thanks for watching.